Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rudder from HowToBlackHair.com and I will be teaching you how to do Petra braids. Petra braids are big, single, individual braids. The size of a Petra braid is double the size of a single braid or box braid. So the following materials you will need to do Petra braids will be seven packages of synthetic braiding hair, hair gel, a comb, and scissors. Also, I will be accessorizing my Patra braids, so if you would like to accessorize them the exact same way, the materials you will need will be headbands, hair ties, and bobby pins. So once you have all of your supplies and materials ready to do your Patra braids, in the next step, I will be showing you in detail, step by step, how to braid your own Patra braids. This is step two of the Patra braid style. And in this step, I will be showing you in detail, step by step, how to braid your Patra braids. Before we begin braiding our hair, I will show you how to prepare your synthetic hair to begin braiding. So here in my hand, I have my first package of synthetic braiding hair. As you can see, the braiding hair is a different color from my hair. And that's fine because I want to use a splash of color within my Patra braids. If you would like to make sure that all of your braids are the same color, go ahead and choose one consistent color. If you would like to use color, use as much or as little as you want. And I only have one package of colored hair and this color is in the number 33. So once I remove the hair from its package, this is its original length. If I braid my braids at this length, these braids will go past my shoulders and be somewhere probably mid-back. If you would like your braids shorter or to just fall on your shoulders, I suggest that you go ahead and cut the pack in half. So first, what I am going to do is use my scissors to remove the rubber bands from the top of the bundle and the bottom of the bundle. Once you have cut the rubber bands off from your bundle of hair, you can begin braiding if that is what you want to do. But if you begin braiding with the hair as it is, you will notice that the ends of your hair will appear really choppy. Simply because all of the hairs are the exact same length, which is why the ends look very straight and very blunt. In order to have a really beautiful look to your patch of braids, it's always nice to make sure the very ends of your braids aren't blunt but that they come to more of a finer point at the bottom of your braids. So this method, what I call, is just the pulling method. Simply because I'm going to be pulling hairs from one side of my bundle to make sure that all of the hairs are not equal. So what I will be doing is with one hand holding the top of the bundle, and then with my other hand, I will grab random hairs on one side of the bundle and I will pull them loosely. So if it's a little hard for you to pull it, make sure that you loosen your grip at the top of your bundle and go ahead and pull at random hairs so that they will not be as even. So now on the other side, I'm just gonna go ahead and rake this hair to see that if it looks even or if that it looks choppy at all. So once you pull and tug on the hairs of your bundle, you wanna make sure you do a look check to see if the ends are very straight and blunt. And if they aren't, go ahead and you can begin braiding and positioning your hair for your braids. But if you still feel like the ends are just a little too straight for you, a little too perfect, go ahead and continue to tug on those hairs until you get the desired look. Now that you've actually prepped your synthetic hair for your braids, next I will show you how to position your hands for your braids. Okay, so after you have tapered the ends of your hair, next I will be showing you how to actually section off the amount of hair you will use per braid, and I will show you how to position your hands for your braid. So you're just gonna go ahead and take a big chunk of hair from this package. 
So this is probably a fourth of the package of hair. And I'm just gonna separate it from the rest and we are gonna work on this hair here. So after you have separated the hair, make sure you find the middle portion of where the hair is. And then you're just gonna go ahead and divide this hair into two pieces. But the way that you want to divide this hair is that you wanna pinch a third of the hair off from the rest of the hair in your hand. So once I separate this, I will have a third in one hand and two thirds in my other hand. In my right hand, I have one third of the hair and in my left hand, I have two thirds of the hair. So at this point, you wanna take the third and wrap it around the two thirds so that this hair can meet once again. So I'm just gonna take the third, wrap it around this two thirds here, and pull that side through. So now here in my right hand, I still have my third and it's actually wrapped around the two thirds of this hair. Now, making sure that both sides are equal, next you are going to use your hands to position your hair on the weave and then begin braiding. So from this point, I take my right hand and the three main fingers of my right hand, I will hold the third portion of hair. And I wanna get as close to this middle point as possible where they both are connected and use my thumb, index, and middle finger to hold the hair in position. Next, I'm going to take my left hand, and the way that I'm going to hold this other side is I'm going to put my index finger through the opening with my middle finger on the outside, my thumb on the outside, and I'm going to use the rest of my fingers to hold the hair. So underneath, this is what it looks like. I put my index finger through, my thumb is on this side, my middle finger is on this side, and I will use the rest of my fingers to just hold the hair. Now next what you do is you take your right hand and you're gonna turn it underneath and then you're gonna use your index finger and put it through this opening on the left. So I'm just gonna take my right hand, turn it under, making sure to hold the hair. And in between these two openings here, I'm gonna insert my index finger. And then I'm gonna use my index finger and my thumb to hold that piece of hair that's in between those two. So once I have my hand in position here, I then can let go of my right hand and I will begin braiding with just one hand. And when I braid, what I do is that I feed the hair in between my thumb and my index finger to braid. So once again, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove it all. And my right hand is one third, and my left hand is two thirds. I'm gonna put this one third around the two thirds to form three equal parts. And make sure that both ends are equal and even to one another. And there you have it, I have three equal pieces. Take my right hand, three main fingers, and I hold the hair on this side. Next, I take my left hand, insert my index finger through, and use the rest of my fingers to hold the hair. Once I hold all of the hair, I turn my right hand underneath, use my index finger, put it through the opening of the hair, and hold the hair in between my thumb and my index into position. And now my left hand is free. So once you know how to position your hands on this weave, then you will begin braiding your patra braids. So now that you know how to position your hands on your weave, next, right now, I'm gonna show you how to part your hair for your patra braids. So if you are familiar with single braids, just imagine the size that you part for your single braid, but this time, you're going to part double the amount of hair. So what I will be doing is taking my comb, and the comb that I like to use is called a rat tail comb, simply because it has a rat tail end. 
Now I use this pointy end to part my hair so that I don't have to divide through so much hair at once. I don't like to use the combs that much when I'm making parts because it's very easy for my hair to get pretty tangled in the individual teeth. So with just one pointy end, I will use this end to part my hair. So I will be starting on the right side of my head and I will take this small end and I will part a big size braid on my head. So this is the section of hair that I have parted for my patch of braids. And as you can see, this is a pretty big chunk of hair to braid with. You want to make sure that your parts are pretty big because patra braids are big braids. So the size of my part is probably about an inch and a half or an inch on both sides. Just make sure that your parts are bigger than what you would use for box braids or single braids. So after you have parted your hair, next you're just gonna comb through, detangle that section of hair, and apply your hair gel to begin braiding your hair. So now we're gonna go through the steps once again really quickly how to position your hands on your synthetic braiding hair. So I'm just gonna take my hair here, divide it into a third and two thirds. Then once I do that and make sure both sides are equal, take my third, wrap it around the two thirds of the hair and bring those two pieces together to form three equal pieces. So now I'll take my right hand, position my fingers on that third piece here, and then I take my left hand, insert my index finger through the opening, and put the rest of my fingers around the hair. Now the next thing that I do is I take my right hand, and I twist it underneath, stick my index finger through the hair, and then I'm going to pinch that hair in between my thumb and my index finger, like so and then that frees my left hand so I have a piece of hair here that's on top of my fingers I have a piece of hair in between my index and thumb and the other piece of hair in between my fingers on my right hand so now once again you're gonna make sure that you feed the hair in this section of hair your real hair will be applied here because you will feed your real hair between your thumb and your index finger so now we will begin braiding so just go ahead and make sure the hair isn't all in your way and I like to kind of throw it behind my shoulders. And now with my free hand, I'm just gonna gather all of my hair. Make sure I have it all gathered in my hand just to hold it for security. Then with my right hand, I'm gonna open up my index finger and my thumb a little bit to pinch all of the hair. So I'm just gonna open up my thumb, my index, making sure I have a firm hold on the rest of the hair and then I'm going to insert my hair in there and hold it. You wanna make sure you're as snug to your scalp as possible. So once again, here it is. The hair that's in between my index and my thumb, I will open those two fingers up and grab all of the hair there. Next, what I do, I have a piece of hair that is on top of my hand and I'm going to reach my left hand over, grab that piece of hair, and I am going to move it to the side of my head. And at the same time, twist my right hand to the right, making sure to hold everything tight. Once I do that, with this hand here, my left hand, I'm gonna take my index, insert it through this opening here, and then I'm going to hook my index finger onto this piece of hair. So once I do that, I add it to that hand and reposition my right hand on that piece of hair there. So now with my left hand, I'm gonna twirl it to the left. Take my index of my right hand, insert it through this opening here and hook my index finger onto that bottom piece. So I'm gonna hook it there to hold it to that hand and now my left hand is free. 
So go ahead and position all of your hair to make sure that it's not tangled within one another. And then you're gonna do the same process again. Take your free hand, the three main fingers, and grab that loose piece of hair that's on top. Once you do that, you're gonna make sure it's all snug to your scalp. Twist your right hand to the right. Take your index finger and hook onto that piece of hair at the bottom there with your index finger and connect it with that other hand. So now my right hand is free. So as you notice, the hand that always twists, whether to the left or the right, it has to have two pieces of hair in the hand. So with my free hand, I'm gonna hold that individual piece of hair that's all alone. And since my left hand has two pieces of hair, I have to twist it to the left. If my right hand had two pieces of hair, I would twist that hand to the right. So my left hand, twist it to the left. And then once you get that opening in between those two pieces, you're gonna take your index, insert it through, and then continue the same process. Make sure that you occasionally separate all the three pieces of hair from one another so you can avoid knots and tangles. So now I'm just gonna flip my hands around to just continue braiding all the way to the very bottom. So you're just going to continue braiding and sometimes I like to share different hairs from different sides to make sure that I can braid all the way to the very bottom. And now you can see when we pulled on those hairs to make sure that the ends weren't blunt, we're able to come to more of a finer point and more of a cleaner look with our braid. So once you braid down as far as you can go, just go ahead and release and I'll just smooth the rest of the hairs at the bottom and then my braid is finished. Okay, so now I have parted a new section on my hair, detangled and applied my gel, and I'm gonna show you the process once again in just a little bit more of my pace. So now I'm just gonna take the hair I have in my hand, divide the third from the two thirds, making sure both sides are equal, wrap the third around the two thirds, and bring those two pieces together. So now I have three equal pieces. I'm just gonna use my scissors, just cut that little hair out the way. So now with my three equal pieces, I'm gonna position my right hand, position my left hand on the hair, twirl my right hand under, insert my index finger through, and pinch my index finger and my thumb together. So now my left hand is free, and I have three separate pieces of hair for braiding. So now I'm just gonna kinda throw the hair over my hand kind of behind my back to keep the hair out of the way. And now I'm going to begin braiding. So I'm gonna take my free left hand, gather all of the hair in my hand to make sure that I have all of the hair. Then with my right hand, I'm gonna open up my index and my middle finger 
excuse me, my index and my thumb, and I'm going to grab all of that hair there. So now once I've grabbed all the hair and I have it secure, I'm gonna take my left free hand, put it over my head, and I'm gonna grab this hair that's on top, and I'm going to bring it over to the side, twist my right hand to the right, create that little opening between my thumb with my index and my middle, take the index of my left hand, hook it on that bottom piece to add it to that hand. So now once I do that, I'm gonna separate the hairs out a bit, and with my free right hand, I'm gonna grab my hair with that piece of synthetic hair I have here, making sure it's securely in my hand. And making sure my left hand is positioned as well. I'm gonna go ahead now, since I have two pieces in my left hand, and I'm gonna twist my left hand to the left, and from that opening there, hook my index finger and add it to my hand. So if you're wondering how many times do you do the twisting process and hook your finger on that piece of hair, you do that about three to four times. You can honestly do it as much as you want, but the goal is just to make sure that the hair is secure on your braid. So you're just going to continue as you have those two pieces in your hand to twist and hook your finger. And then just go ahead and continue braiding to the bottom. So I'm just gonna bring my hands kind of to the front to help me finish braiding. So in this step, I have shown you how to prepare your synthetic braiding hair for your braids. I have also shown you how to position the hair in your hands and braid your own patch of braids. So in the next step, step number three, I will be sharing with you my tips, tricks, and advice for braiding beautiful Patra braid extensions. This is step number three of the Patra Braid Style with Weave. And in this step, I will be giving you four of my best tips and tricks for achieving beautiful Patra Braids. Tip number one, lumpy braids. When you are braiding your hair and you notice that the braids are bulging in certain areas, the best thing that you need to do is take down your braid and redo it to make sure it is not bumpy. Also, if you notice a consistent bulge throughout your braid, most times you probably didn't evenly distribute the hair before you started. So when you divide the hair with the third and two thirds, maybe one side was a little bit bigger than the other side. So make sure that you take down your braid and retry so that the braids do not bulge and it lays a lot flatter. Tip number two, hair that sticks out of the braids. When you're braiding your hair and you notice that your hair is sticking out of the braids, most times this is probably because your hair is dry. Before you braid your hair, you have to make sure that your hair has been moisturized so that you can combat any freeziness and dryness with your hair. So one thing that I do and that I always do, whether or not my hair has been properly moisturized or not, is that I use a hair gel to slick the ends of my hair as I am braiding. Sometimes I apply gel over all of my hair for that specific section that I'm braiding, but most times I put gel on the ends. When I'm braiding and I notice that I am ending near the ends of my hair, where the ends of my hair will have a braid past that point, I use gel and slick the gel on the end of my hair as I am braiding. This ensures that the hair does not stick out and that the look is flawless. Tip number three. Braiding all the way down to the ends of your braids. When you are braiding your patch of braids, you must make sure that you braid to the very ends of your braids to prevent your braids from unraveling. When you are doing your braids, you may become slack simply because you're doing the same thing over and over again, but you must pay attention to detail and braid to the very ends to prevent your braids from unraveling. 
It would be a shame for all of your hard work to go to waste simply because you were not consistent throughout your breaks. And now for my last tip, tip number four, practice. This tip is by far my most important tip and it's also my most overlooked tip. Practice makes perfect. When you are a new person and you're doing your hair and you're just not used to the motions, you must practice in order to be better. And also, you must expect your first time to be your worst time simply because you have zero experience. Just know that you will get better as you continue to work on your hair and practice at the techniques for doing your patch of braids. Your braids may start off lumpy, they may be bumpy, your hair may stick out, the braids may even unravel or it may not even look nice. You have to practice in order to get the braids that you would like. So please stay determined and do not give up and just know that the more you braid your hair, the easier the process will become and the better your braids will look. So now that I've shared with you four of my best tips for doing your patch of braids, in the next step, step number four, I will show you how to seal the ends of your braids for that finished look. Welcome to step number four of the Patrick Braid Style with Weave. In this step, I will be showing you how to seal the ends of your braids. And to seal the ends of your braids, you are simply going to be dipping the ends into hot water to do so. This help prevents the braids from unraveling simply because it locks the fibers into place so that they do not unravel in the future. So here on my table, I have a cup of hot steaming water. This water was previously boiling before I transferred it to my cup. You could also warm a cup of water up in the microwave until the water starts to boil as well. But when you are using a cup to dip the ends of your braids in, you want to make sure that it has a handle that does not get hot. The reason why is because if at any time you need to quickly grab your cup, you want to reach a handle that stays cool and is not hot because of the contents inside of the cup. It will be very dangerous for you to go and grab your cup and burn your hands. Which brings me to my point. Make sure that you are being safe when you are dipping your ends of your braids into water. The steam from the water and the water itself could potentially burn you and harm you. So know that your safety is in your hands and you must be careful when you are using and dealing with hot water. So also what I'm going to be using is hair cutting scissors. Once I dip the ends of my braids in water, I'm going to snip any ends that seem out of place and just stick up. So that's what you want your scissors for. And also when you bring your braids out of the water, you want to make sure that you have a thick towel in front of you. The towel will serve as a barrier between your body and the wet braids once you pull them out of the water. So right now I'm going to take my towel and position that right in front of me so that I can dip my braids. So you want to go ahead and move all of your braids to the front of you. And we're just going to concentrate on one half of our head at a time. So now that I've pulled all of the braids to the front, I'm just gonna make sure to go ahead and divide the braids down the middle of my head so that I have two even sides. And I think I will start off with my right side. You wanna gather all of your braids. Make sure to position this right. Grab all of your braids and twist them just a little bit so that you have a firm hold on all of your braids on the side of your head. And then you're just gonna simply take the ends and guide them into the water. But before you do this, make sure you have your towel in front of you because when you pull your braids out of the water, your braids are going to be extremely hot and you wanna have your towel so you can wrap your towel around your braids. So now that I have all of my braids gathered on this side, just going to take the ends and go ahead and lower them in gently into the water. Now there's no specific amount of time you need to leave the braids inside of the water. You just want to make sure that they're fully saturated with the water 
and I just like to swoosh them around to release any air bubbles and leave it down in there just for some, you know, a couple seconds. And then I'm just gonna raise the braids out and I have my towel in front of me. And then I'm going to dry the braids off. So go ahead, you're gonna wrap your towel around and then you're gonna squeeze all the way down to the bottom of your braids. Another thing that I like to do to make sure that my braids are really smooth at the ends is to go ahead and rub the dry towel to the very bottom. So now once you notice that your braids aren't dripping any water and it's safe for you to touch and it doesn't feel hot, you want to go ahead and take your scissors, grab a bundle of braids, and use your scissors to snip off any hairs that are still frayed and that don't lay smoothly. So I'm just skimming across the bottom. You don't want to actually cut a braid because that will make your braid unravel. You just want to cut those hairs that stick out at the very bottom of the braids. And so once you've done this to whichever side you chose, you're going to do the same thing to the other side to snip the ends as well. So now that you know how to seal the ends of your braids, continue until you are finished with all of your braids. And then in the next step, I will be showing you the finished results of my Patra braids with weave. Here we are in step number five, the finished results to your Patra braid extensions. Have fun rocking your new style. So now that your Patra braids are completely finished, in the next step, I will show you three easy and very simple ways to accessorize your Patra braids. This is step number six to the Patra braid style with weave. And in this step, I will be showing you three very easy and simple ways to accessorize your Patra braids. For style number one, I will be using hair ties and bobby pins. So for style number one, I took all of my braids and placed those braids into a ponytail. Next, I took all of the braids, braided them into one big braid, and put a ponytail holder at the end. Next, I wrapped the braid around itself and pinned them in place with bobby pins. Here is style number one.
Next is style number two. For style number two, I will be using hair ties and bobby pins. For style number two, I used two hair ties to put all of the braids into a ponytail. Then I took the colored braids and wrapped them around the ponytail and pinned them in place with bobby pins. And here you have it, style number two. Next is style number three. For style number three, I will simply be using my hand. For style number three, I grab all of the braids and move them to the left side of my head. I then started on the edges of the braid and simply braided all the way down with all of the braids. Once I braided to the very end, I brought the tail of the braid up and tucked it through the opening of itself. So once I did that, I brought the piece back out and tucked it once more so that it appears to be a braid that goes on forever. So here you have it, last but not least, style number three. So now that I have shown you three easy and very simple ways to accessorize your braids, in the next step, I will be showing you how to take down and remove your Patra braids extensions. This is step number seven to the Patra braid style with weave. In this step, I will be showing you how to easily remove and take down your Patra braids. 
Taking down your patch of braids is an extremely easy and simple process. The fact that these braids are jumbo sized, that cuts the time literally in less than half to remove and take down your braids. To take down your braids, you could simply grab a braid and just unravel from the very bottom of your braid all the way up into the top until you are finished. But if you know where your hair is, you could use scissors to cut part of the braid and then take down the rest. So when you are cutting the braid, you just want to be extremely careful and wherever you think your hair falls, I say to go double that and cut at a different length just to make sure that you do not cut your real hair. So now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take a braid in front. And I know that my hair is kind of short and it probably at the longest stops about right here, but I'm gonna overestimate and go down way far and cut about right here on the braid. So you're just gonna snip that and then just continue to unravel the braid from the bottom all the way up to the top. Pretty easy and pretty simple. So for my next braid, I'm going to do the exact same process. And I can see how long my hair is, so I could cut a little bit up higher, but I'll just keep that same measurement that I do and go ahead, overestimate, and cut lower down on the braid. Thank you for watching the Patra Bray Style with Weave. Check out our online store, videos, and blogs on howtoblackhair.com. Thanks for watching.